the middle. Even DJs that I hate, I love a little. Sound. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, all right, this is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio, and it is 7.46 in the a.m. this October 5th, 2012. TGI freaking F, y'all. It's Friday. You made it through the week. Congratulations. I know you're tired, but I know at 5 o'clock you're going to be all revved up, ready to go. All right, where we going? Where we going? Where we going? We're going to we're going to go out, we're going to go to movies, going to dinner. Uh, I'm so tired, but it's Friday. I got to go out. I got to do something. I can't go to sleep. You better take a nap before you fall out. <laughs> all right, so all of y'all that got dinner plans tonight, take a nap before you pass out. <laughs> no matter if you're young, everybody needs a nap. Remember when you were six years old, five years old, you know, four years old, your parents always put you down for a nap. Dude, 20 minutes a day refreshes you. You feel like a new person. Like, ooh, da-da, feel like Tarzan. <laughs> and for the ladies, like Jane, hello. Ladies, you know when you get a lot, lot of rest, you know, you take that 20 minutes, your skin is uh, more relaxed. It has more moisture. It's, uh, you know, pretty. And it has a natural glow to it. So, yeah, once you wipe off the um, sleep stuff. But... Uh, and also you live longer and your hair is better your hair is healthier the healthier and more rested you are the better you look so it's working from the inside out alright so there you go that's a reason to take a 20 minute nap alright so we got the vocabulary word coming up uh, halfway through in about 13-14 minutes and uh, I'll take on the last, ten, uh, last 5 minutes of the show all right, and so we got some music for you. Uh, starting off with uh, "Knowing What I Know" by Daryl E. Boyer. And you can get this song um, at rrradiomusic.com as well as darylboyer.com. Amen. Here we go. Knowing what I know.
Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio, in case you didn't know. We are halfway through and it's time for the vocabulary word of the day. I definitely want to feed your heart and your minds, amen, and your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. As you grow in the things of God, amen, you are stronger and able to withstand the tests of the enemy. (laughs) 
God equips you for that. And I'm going to give you a vocabulary word so you can grow even more. All right? Here we go. Um, I am using words out of the uh, Strong's Expanded Dictionary of Bible Words. And I am in the Hebrew Dictionary, page 297. And I am on item number 28. And the word is Abida. Abida. What? you like, what? What? It's Abida. And it's spelled A-B-I-Y-D-A, -A, but it's pronounced Ab, A-B, and then a double E, and then D-A-W. So it's Abida. Abida. All right? And that word happens to mean father of knowledge. For example, knowing. Um, Abida was actually a son of Abraham, and his mom's name was Kitura. Kitura. Yep. So there we go. Amen. Father of knowledge. Abida. Amen. So. That is the vocabulary word of the day. If you want to sponsor the vocabulary word of the day, send me an email to lutgradio at gmail.com. Amen. We can get it started for you. All right, so we got more music for you. we got an altar call in less than 10. The next song up is called Dig This by Funk Master. See how y'all dig this here.
Suburbia by Melissa Moshe, and for any of you that were offended by what she said, I can only apologize. Um, so, uh, well, there you go. Alright, so I'm done with that. Well, okay, there you go. Uh, a song called A World Like This by Mike. Amen. And uh, up next, we got the auto call. <laughs>
Amen, amen, amen. It is time for the altar call. Amen, amen. It is now uh, 8, 11 in the morning. And um, Jesus loves you, even at 8, 11 in the morning. You're like, wow, I just got up. Yep. He still loves you. With sleep in your eye, with your hair all messed up, with um, your breath probably kicking. Woo, dragon. Yep. He still loves you. With you scratching yourself very which way, fumbling over toys and or fumbling over your own mess, he still loves you. Whether you are waking up grumpy in the morning or waking up just cheesing and smiling, he still loves you. His love for you will never die. It will never fade. And um, he wants you to, uh, you know, to know that love because even though you're loved by God, not everybody knows that God loves them. And um, one way is uh, for people to tell you, but uh, the best way is for you to believe it and to step out on faith and um, to build a relationship with Christ. And the way you do that is through salvation. And when you build a relationship through Christ, you're also building a relationship with God the Father. Because if you have the Father, you have the Son. And if you have the Son, you have the Father. And I know some of you are like, well, you know, I cursed his name. You, he still, you know, he still loves me. Yeah. See, sometimes people curse his name and they call his name in vain out of ignorance. Because people have told them, oh, that ain't nothing. That don't mean nothing. Oh, that ain't nothing. Dude, I've said worse than that. Man, whatever. You know, and they're like, man, I say this all day, every day. What of it? See, that's when you don't know. So if you don't know something, if you don't know not to do something, then you don't have the ability to correct yourself. But God will give you correction. And some people ignore the voice of God because they're like, what? You know, you say, I had a feeling I shouldn't say that or I shouldn't do that. That's the prompting of God, prompting of the Holy Ghost. He'll lead you and direct you in the right way to go. Um, he also leads you to salvation. Um, it's easy to hear and to understand when you're safe um, because you, uh, his people know his voice and his voice is the only one they will follow so all of that is a part of building a relationship with him no it does not give you an excuse to say well I can say this because I didn't know I ain't saved he, 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 he. Yeah, if you can say those words then you know better <laughs> whether you're saved or not but uh, to build a relationship with Christ is so important because you get so many different benefits from it. The first one is you get love. God loved you first. And you get to return the love. Being able to return love is such a blessing. So I want to give you an opportunity to build a relationship with Christ and Jehovah God the Father so that you can not only receive his love but be able to return it as well. Amen. So repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven. I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in the atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. It's just that easy. God is so good. It's just that easy. Facebook.com forward slash L-U-T-G radio. Click, it, click on the link, find a church. Get yourself into a foundation class and an intercessory class so you can learn more about Christ and who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. And don't forget, the last segment coming up is uh, Ministry Minutes. And it'll be up in about five minutes. Definitely stay tuned. Come back. And don't forget, we got the fundraiser, LUTG Radio. It's uh, indiegogo.com forward slash LUTG Radio fundraiser. I put it on Facebook. Uh, check it out. Um, it's an almsgiving. You can give by PayPal. You can give by credit card if you want. Uh, LUTG Radio does not see that information. We only see that you uh, made a contribution. That's it. So we don't keep that information. It's actually kept by the banks. All right. So uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. Pull up and rise above. Oh, arms open, waiting for you to give them more. 